Okay. So um, we're going to talk about two different vowel sounds this week. Um, last week we covered short A and long A, and this week we're going to cover short E and long E. And you're going to see some of the same spelling patterns, believe it or not, especially um, with EA, because EA is a shape shifter um, that gets used to make two different sounds. So um, this is our little friend. He's the spelling beaver, and he is going to uh, help us out a little bit. We ha also have a grammar groundhog that we're going to be using in class, and so um, generally we do spelling like this um, at home for homework, but we're since you are at home and almost everything feels like homework, um, we're going to have <clears throat> the beaver help you out a little bit with doing some of your homework. And he's pretty awesome. So make sure you write your name at the top. This is Reader's Notebook, page 16. And I'm going to show you a little bit how to fill in a spelling worksheet. Um, so you have a word bank. We're going to put the beaver off to the side a little bit. Um, you have a word bank over here, or a word box, that has all of this week's spelling words. And it also has challenge words below. So as you're working, you're going to go ahead and check off words in the word bank. That's a really good strategy to do so that you don't use a word more than once. All right. So the instructions for this particular assignment say write the basic word that best fits each clue. So you're going to get a sort of a definition over here and you're going to pick the word that matches the definition, right? That matches the meaning. So if something is inexpensive and we're looking for a long E or a short E, in my head, I'm thinking cheap, right? That would be the word I would think of. Inexpensive is cheap. So I'm looking over here, West, Steep, Member, Gleam, Fresh, Freedom, Speed, Steam, Beast, Believe, Spec, Kept, Cheap. There's cheap. And it's C-H-E-A-P, so I'm going to write it right here on this line. All right, the next definition says, a desire for more than one needs. Ooh, if you want more than you need, you're usually greedy, right? So I'm looking down here. I'm looking for something that looks like greedy. Oh, here we go. Number 15 is double E, G-R-E-E-D. So, so far we know that the long E sound can be made with E-A and with double E, right? All right, a large animal. Hmm, that could be an assortment of things. So I'm just going to think large animal as I go down this list. Boom, 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 boom. Beast might be beast. Boom, 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 boom. That's the best choice, I think. So I'm going to write B E A S T. The direction where the sun sets. I know the sun sets in the west. So that's our first word. And that's a short E, right? W-E-S-T. All right. If it were a long E, it would be pronounced weast. <laughs> and it's not, so it's a short E. Um, shine brilli brilliantly. Hmm. So I'm going to look for words that mean to shine brightly or brilliantly. Steep, no. Member, no. Gleam, ooh, that's a good choice. Fresh, freedom, speed, steam, beast, I've already used. Believe, spec, kept, pretend. Shelf, least, eager, reason, chief. I think gleam is the best choice there. So I'm spelling it G-L-E-A-M, right? All right, number six, a small spot. Um, that would probably be a spec right? That's the first one that comes to mind. Steep, member, we've already used gleam. Fresh, freedom, speed, steam, believe, spec. Oh, spec. I was right. That's a short E, S-P-E-C-K. Awesome. The beaver is clapping. Oh, I guess he can't clap. 
His hands are already together, so he's constantly clapping. <laughs> All right. We'll put him over here. You can just see his little teeth. Um, number seven, rising at a very sharp angle. Oh, that's number two, steep, right? S-T-E-E-P. Awesome. Number eight, leader. Ooh, a leader is going to be a chief. I remember seeing chief on here. And I saw chief all the way at the bottom. Now, chief is a trickster. You would think it would be spelled with the E first and the I second, but it's not. It's spelled chai F, right? The I comes first. So it is I E F. Number nine, water in the form of a gas. Hmm. That's probably going to be steam, right? So all I, once I've checked these off, I don't need to look at them anymore. So I'm looking at member, fresh, freedom, speed, steam. Perfect. S-T-E-A-M. Number 10, to think. So let's look. Member, no. Fresh, no. Freedom, no. Speed, no. Believe, possibly. Kept, pretend. Well, you know what? When you think something, sometimes you pretend that could work. Shelf, least, eager, reason. If you think something, I think number 10 is the best choice, believe. So I'm going to write believe. And I will tell you the funny part about believe. It has the word lie in it. So <laughs> that always reminds me how to spell believe because when somebody lies to you sometimes you believe them so it has the word lie right in the middle of it and that helps me to remember how to spell it number 11 the last one a place for books or other items well we put books on a shelf right and that's short e so let's see boom 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 no no right here 16 shelf Shorty. Um, so this is giving you a challenge. And um, challenge is for extra credit. This is a challenge you could actually do. Write a paragraph about a place where you like to eat. Tell what you like about it. Use three challenge words. Write on a separate piece of paper. Well, I'm going to do the challenge because I like to eat. You probably could tell that about me already. Okay, check it out. Uh-oh, my Siri's talking. <laughs> Siri's trying to help me write a challenge paragraph. All right, so I'm going to grab my journal, and I'm going to write a paragraph about a place where I like to go to eat. Here we go. Tell what I like about it. Use at least three challenge words. So here are my challenge words. I have echo, menu. Ooh, menu is going to be easy. Creature reveal and restaurant those are all good words for i know for sure i can use menu and i know for sure i can use restaurant and i could probably say echo if i described like the inside of the restaurant <laughs> creature i might be eating something weird okay so i'm going to talk about a paragraph about where i like to go eat and what i like about it so here we go on my journal paper, I'm using the red margin. I'm indenting. I have fat fingers, so I only use one finger, but you guys have little cute, adorable, tiny fingers. If he were to use, if the beaver were to do this, he would probably need both paws to indent. So I'm going to indent, and I'm going to say, I really love eating... And again, I stop before I hit the red margin line at a restaurant called Evia. Okay, so I use restaurant. I'm going to underline it. This eatery 
is located in Palo Alto. That's near where my dad lives, so they serve gourmet Greek food. Guess what? Greek has long E. <laughs> um, so I could probably underline serve to serve. Serve actually, serve actually crosses the line. It might be a U sound, right? So we probably can't use serve. We could probably use eatery, right? Because that has a long E. Evia has a short E. It's a Greek word, probably. <laughs> They serve gourmet Greek food. Now, I've so far I've only used restaurants, so I'm going to say I really like the appetizers on their menu. So menu was one of the ones on the challenge list. And I do like their appetizers. I'm not making any of this up. One of my favorite appetizers, I'm going to try using Creature. <laughs> they have um, calamari. Calamari is squid. And the squid is kind of um, deep fried really lightly. So it has like a crispy, crunchy batter to it. And I love the sauce that goes with the calamari, too. So I'm going to say my favorite dish is from a creature called squid. The dish is battered, batter fried calamari. It comes with a dipping sauce. Now my stomach's starting to growl with a dipping sauce. I'm going to call it a delicious dipping sauce. And then I'm going to put a conclusion, right? Because paragraphs have, here's my topic sentence. I really love eating at a restaurant called Evia. Here are my supporting details. And then I'm going to put a, um, a conclusion on the end. Sorry, I was just peeking out the window at the neighbors. <laughs> so I'm going to, my conclusion is going to say it comes with a delicious dipping sauce. My friends and I eat at Evia for our birthdays, which is true. Um, so every year I have my best friend and his wife, my best friend, um, his birthday is the very end of August and mine is, um, August 25th. So we always eat birthday at this or birthday dinner at the same restaurant every year. <laughs> we also sometimes eat there in between too, cause it's really yummy. So this is a challenge assignment. If I were to need extra credit or want extra credit or I would want to show my teacher, oh my gosh, I'm such a good writer. I really love writing. I would do the challenge assignment. I could tear out the challenge assignment and staple it or paper clip it to my paper. And then I could write on there. I could circle, I wrote it on a separate paper, and then my teacher will know that it's attached on the back, okay? So I used Creature, 
menu, restaurant, and I even added some extras. And also, luckily, Evia was a shorty too, which is pretty amazing. Okay, so this is how you complete um, this style of worksheet. You have to know what the word means. If you aren't sure what a word means, you can borrow a phone and you can go to a website called dictionary.com www.dictionary I go to it so often I can't believe my phone do doesn't just go there so if you go to dictionary.com you can look up a word like let's say I didn't know let's say I wasn't really sure what any of these words meant. Maybe I didn't know what freedom meant. So I can write F-R-E-E-D-O-M, search, and it's gonna tell me the state of being free or at liberty, right? It'll tell me the definition on www.dictionary.com. So you can always borrow a phone or you can just use your Chromebook and go on dictionary.com if you aren't sure what any of these words mean because sometimes you aren't sure what they mean and that's totally fine we're our goal here in fourth grade is to really work on word study so if you don't know something use a tool use your Chromebook um, to look it up because that's what people do who are trying to work on their vocabulary right and that's what we're trying to do in fourth grade anyhow I will see you later and I will be thinking about calamari at evia and my stomach will be growling when i make the next tape so be sure to listen for it talk to you later oh and he will wave goodbye to you but he has to wave with his back foot because his front paws are glued together they're sewn together so he's going to give you a wave with both like a wave like this <laughs> all right i will talk to you later